Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So this episode we're talking about coffee. I just received this today, so we'll do a real-time unboxing and I'll show you what's inside and what it is. Right, so this is from, you're gonna need a screwdriver, uh, from ACS in Naples, Italy. Uh, Advanced Coffee Solution, this is a lever machine single group head uh, called the Vesuvius or the Evo lever. Um, I purchased this, so disclaimer, I purchased this with my own money. No discounts, no sponsors, nothing. Um, I got this, I ordered this uh, last year, well in December, very quick. Maria, who is the sales executive there at ACS, uh, yeah, she replies within 24, 48 hours. Um, basically, I told her where I was, uh, where I lived, uh, how much it was, including shipping. She sent the back all the details. I'll try and put it here somewhere in the video, and I'll show you the emails. Um, yeah, so including the shipping. Arrived today in this crate, which is reusable. So don't smash the crate up if you get anyone, okay? Uh, they tell you how to uh, unpack the coffee machine and keep everything together so that you can reuse the box. Okay, a uh, little bit weird, you have to download the manual online to see how to um, unpack it basically. Um, but there is a manual inside as well. Okay, so like I said before, I showed you uh, there's four screws one, two, three, four and four clips and I believe four um, I can't remember what they're called at the bottom so you can do that and the machine should come out so let's get to it yeah I won't do this in real time uh, so this is the last one that is coming out so don't lose your screws Ah, all right, put this away safely. What do we have? Thank you, okay. Accessory box, okay, big accessory box. Go through that in a minute. see that I live in Hong Kong so we use UK plugs so I asked for it they gave me a UK plug which is nice and then this stuff is for I won't pull it out direct plumbing um, steel braided foam wow um, Standard machine is stainless steel. Mine, I've asked for um, black panels on the side and back, which I'll show you a bit later. And the front is still stainless steel. Um, that's about it. We'll have a look now. We will now take the side panels off, which is using the clips. And then I believe at the bottom, we we'll just unwind it and the whole machine should come out. So let's have a look and see. That one's out. There you go. Just have to, so it's just a clip that holds on to this part. Off. 
nice stenciled okay and they've even drilled a hole plugged it so you can um, if you want to plumb it in you can you don't have to do your own drilling which is nice machine wise uh, length wise it's quite a long machine uh, back to front is about 20 inches long it's about what, 51 centimeters uh, width wise about 15 so about what uh, 38 centimeters across and height from the feet feet is about here so about what 16 inches tall uh, about 40 centimeters but when you include the lever I mean, it goes to about 70 nearly 80 centimeters tall uh, about 31 inches so if you're putting this in your kitchen under storage under cupboards you've got to make sure that you have around 80 uh, centimeters of clearance um, or there's no cupboard that you need to open. Now we're going to try and lift this up. So I'm going to do the screws at the bottom and then I'll lift it up and show you once it's on the table. Right, before I put the machine on the table, let's have a look at this, shall we? Uh, there you go, the Vesuvius Evo lever. Pretty strong, heavy, pretty heavy box. There's your manual. <laughs> and if I can show it to you, there it is. But I showed you this before. Okay, so I still gotta do the wing nuts at the bottom. That's what they call. We have a cloth, okay. We have, ah, these are the, let's see if we can focus better. Um, the feet, uh, I think some are rubber and some are, what is it, cloth. Um, we also have spares. There is a milk frother cleaner. There is seals, there's a screen. If we go in focus, there we go. There's a screen. There is a uh, screen holder, the spring. Uh, what's this? The handle. It's not metal, it's uh, just black. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Nice, ACS. This a minute. Port filters. These are. Not sure what these are. And this must be the funnel. So this is black, which is nice. You see, should be uh, magnetic, and it's the same as with the handle, which is also black. Okay. Uh, I believe if I order the stainless steel, this would be silver. Okay, and the handlebar should be wood. But anyway, yeah, nice gesture. There it is. Nice touch. Now, the port filters. We've got three of them. It should be single spout, double spout, and bottomless. This is the bottomless, as you can see. Not bad. Nice. Black as well. Okay. Uh, is it hard to take out? This is deep, way deeper than I'll compare it. So, 54, I believe, 58. So my grind settings for this versus this will be different, should be different. And let's have a look at the other ones. Double, there you go. Double, nice touch. In the front, not the back. You can take this off to clean. Standard brush. And then, of course, Finally, the tamper. This wooden handle. It's got, if it will, come on, camera, focus. There you go. ACS. Uh, there's a little bit of a gap. That's actually pretty good. I didn't have to buy the other ones. So, this one got from UK. It was a 54.4 mil, so I don't think I'll need that. I'll just use this, really. It's weighty, it's nice, heavy. 
uh, flat, not convex, flat. Right, let's move the machine up, shall we? So I'll leave the handle out. I'm going to put these on just to make it easier for me to rotate the machine around. So they just basically go on the bottom with this. So there's a washer there as well. So that. Okay, so you just tighten it up and then you put your felt, your rubber at the back. These are those rubber uh, feet that come in the shipping crate. Uh, so just keep those. Um, yeah, just keep them all safe together in case you need to ship it again. Spring. We want to do it from the side. Here we go. Juice spring. Okay. Nice. And then, actually, this is probably too close because this is where. Uh, that's not too bad. There you go. Maybe I have to move it across a little bit more. And then the water tank, which I'm supposed to clean first. There's the on off switch. Power haven't plugged in yet. Yep, float switch. Okay, and then this is the filter. And this is, oh, I'm not sure what that one is. But Give it a quick wipe since there's still markings here with some alcohol. There you go. Trip tray. Right, let's have a look at the top panel. So taking the four screws off using a hex key. the steam boiler service boiler there's a pump there's a gear pump where is the brew boiler it's down here right there okay uh, PID in each of them so if you need to increase the pre-infusion or decrease the pre-infusion um, pressure you use this one, it's here. So it's the gear pump, right? Um, oh, it's nearly packed. Down there. Insulated, of course. There you go, insulated. Uh, fittings are, looks good. A bit of Teflon tape there. All the electronics are on this side. Uh, stupidly, here's a water tank. You see the mistake I made before. Uh, there's the float sensor. 
Um, yeah, so none of the electronics are on this side. All the electronics are on this side. The finish is amazing. Look at that. How they bend the steel. Uh, welding wise, yeah, there is a little bit here, but you're never going to see these parts. All right, this is where the drip tray goes on top. Uh, have a look at the drip tray in a minute, but overall, it's pretty good. Well, at least my pressure gauge is aligned. So, everything is done. Uh, just need to plug it in. Fill the water tank, switch it on, and then apparently I've got to turn the surface boiler and the brew boiler off. Okay, uh, so the surface boiler is basically the bigger one, uh, 2.3 liter, I believe. It's a steam boiler, and the brew boiler is like uh, 0.8 uh, liters, so about 800 milliliters. So I turn those off. Got some water. This is not. Uh, this is just refilled water. Distilled. Uh, I'm using uh, Brita under the counter one, especially for coffee. So I'm using the finest 150 and the Quill C50. So I'll, I'll show. I'll leave a link below. Yep. Well, that was stupid, wasn't it? Um, luckily, it didn't get much water all over the place. So hold it and then pour it. That's the service boiler, that's the brew, that's, no that's the service, that's the uh, group head, so I'm going to switch these two off apparently. Mm -hmm. There's the water going down. And it's going to hit. See down there. So I'm supposed to turn this one off. That's off, that's good. Uh, service boiler, off. Yeah, okay, that's good. That's really heavy. So, Root boiler, it's 97. Okay. The machine's been on for about an hour now. I uh, just wanted to see after an hour um, if there is any leakage or anything. There is a little bit here, you see, from here, but that, that was it really for the hour. The only thing I would say is the drip tray. All right, fixed. Just use some um, black plumber's tape. So what I did was put some on this side, you can see, and on this side as well.
go. 16, so it should be. Oh, ooh, that's a bit fast. 36, just now. Yeah, there's a left over. 43, espresso shot. Okay, I think you need to push this. bubbles but That's good. 